Hey, this is Jared and you are watching Backroad Exploration. And today I'm gonna to talk about the 10 things that I absolutely love about my Jeep Wrangler. The first thing that I love about the Jeep Wrangler is just how capable this thing is. There is nothing that comes stock from the factory that is off-road capable as a Jeep Wrangler, especially the Rubicon Edition. You have solid axles, front and rear lockers, you have an amazing approach angle, you have a great departure angle, you have an awesome breakover angle, you have a really good turning radius, you have excellent ground clearance. From a stock setup, nothing is as good as them. There really isn't an argument about it. I've put my Jeep through some really tough tests and it has handled all of them no problem. In fact, if there's any limitation to the Jeep, it's my experience and my driving, it isn't the Jeep. Of course, you can add front and rear lockers to other vehicles, but man, the ones that come with the Rubicon, they're excellent. They work time in, time out. I've absolutely loved them. I've had them on multiple Jeeps, had no issues whatsoever with them, and getting them added afterwards by someone else is expensive. The second thing that I absolutely love about the Jeep Wrangler is just how much aftermarket support they have. So out of all the vehicles that are out there, you're going to have more options for a Jeep Wrangler than anything else. They were designed to be upgraded and modified. So if you want to pick up a new front bumper, new rear bumper, you're going to have dozens of awesome companies who make excellent bumpers that you can add on. You can get tons of different options for skid plates, lift kits. Uh, rock sliders, roof racks, anything that you want to do to your Jeep, there's going to be a bunch of companies that have a good reputation that build solid products for you. When you're in another rig like a 4Runner or a Tacoma um, you, or you know a Land Rover or something like that that people use for off-roading and overlanding, you're just limited in the amount of aftermarket support that you have. So if you're thinking about picking up a Jeep and you're comparing it against some of those vehicles, that's one thing that is a definite added bonus is that you're gonna have way more options. And those options allow you to save money, to be selective, be able to show your personality in your vehicle. It's absolutely awesome. The third thing that I absolutely love about my Jeep Wrangler is that I can sleep in it. If you've watched any of my videos, I am camping, overlanding in my Jeep all the time. I'm either going with my entire family or with just a few of my kids. And when I'm out and about, almost all of the time, I'm sleeping inside of it. The, the back seats lay down completely flat. There is a small gap in between where the, basically the bend of the seat goes. But I just put like a nice little pad in there, throw down my sleeping pad, and I can sleep in there. I'm 6'2". I can sleep in there with my two boys, no problem. We've done it with my two boys and our dog. It just makes it so nice when I'm out camping to be able to get the beds laid out we have a nice place that's secured from like the wind and the elements and we can have a nice comfortable bed sleep really well and then get up and go at it again a lot of the other rigs they don't necessarily lay down flat like the jeep wrangler does and it's an, definitely an added benefit one that i use every single time that i'm out so the fourth thing that I absolutely love about my Jeep is just the modularity of it. I love that I can take the doors off, I can take the roof off, uh, I can fold down the windshield. It gives you a totally different experience when you're off-roading being able to do those things. There's just nothing like having the top off, cruising up a mountain road or out in the desert and just experiencing the elements and nature as you're doing it and there really is not another vehicle that gives you that same experience. So that's something that I absolutely love about the Jeep. So the fifth thing that I absolutely love about the Jeep Wrangler is that you have a full size spare tire on the back of your rig. So if you're running other off-roading vehicles or thinking of getting those, you have to think of a couple things. One, you often have to keep the tire up underneath. There's problems with that. One, you get buried down in this, the snow or the mud and you pop a tire getting that to drop and having enough space is really difficult, sometimes impossible. I've been on a trip with a pickup truck where they popped a tire, they were having problems with the mechanism, they couldn't get the spare down. Another problem with it is they often cannot fit a full size spare, especially if you're running oversized tires. So I'm running 35s, I can have a 35 back here. You do need to have a reinforced back plate that attaches to the rear door, but you can carry a full size with you all the time, which keeps you safe when you're out on the trail in case you pop a tire and you have quick, easy access to it. That is something that almost no other vehicles have. And if you want to do that with another vehicle, you have to buy a massive bumper with a big swing out that can get really expensive. 
you can pick it up in the Jeep world for really inexpensive. In fact, you can pick up a Terraflex back plate that can handle a 35 on the stock door if you want. And I think it's like a couple hundred bucks instead of spending a couple thousand on a rear bumper like you'd have to do if you're running a Land Cruiser or a 4Runner or something like that. So to me, that's a huge benefit of picking up and buying a Jeep is that you have the spare tire on the back and you have such quick, easy access to it. The sixth thing that I absolutely love about my Jeep Wrangler is the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. A lot of people want to comment and complain about how Jeeps have a bad reputation reliability wise. And while I think that there's caveats to that, I think people take their Jeeps and do things with their Jeeps that other vehicle users don't do. End of the day, the 3.8 liter that was in the JK before the 3.6 liter, had a lot of problems and I, I believe that ran from 2007 to 2011 if i'm wrong on that put the actual numbers in the comments but that engine had a lot of problems people were running into burning oil up to a quart of oil um, per gas tank around 100,000 miles which is ridiculous um, i have a old 1994 chevy pickup truck that has 270,000 miles on it and doesn't burn any oil you should be able to get a lot more out of that but the nice thing is that 3.6 liter pentastar is a fantastic engine and people have taken it all over the planet without any trouble. So while I complained in my things that I hate about it, the Jeep Wrangler, that the Jeep is underpowered, that's really more of a gearing issue than it actually is an engine issue. This puts out plenty of horsepower to push the Jeep and do everything that I want it to do. When I update my gears and change those out, I'll have all the power that I need. But this engine's super reliable. You can expect to get a lot of miles on it, 200 plus thousand without any problems, as long as you're maintaining it properly. So absolutely love the engine, and it's one of the things that I love about my Jeep. The seventh thing I love about my Jeep is that it's not a Toyota 4Runner. Now, before all of my followers who drive Toyota start freaking out, let me say I really like the 4Runner. And remember, I still own a 100 series Land Cruiser that I drive every single day. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know my brother Mike has a 2016 4Runner. It's awesome. They're very capable rigs and great for the type of exploring that Mike and I like to do. However, some Toyota owners take their love of the brand far beyond loyalty to a feverish level of defense where they're constantly bashing on other brands. I get that anytime you buy something, you want to back that purchase up with fandom. They are awesome rigs. However, I do not subscribe to the mentality that they are the only rigs good enough, reliable enough, capable enough, or insert your other favorite reason here enough for overlanding. If Dan Grek can drive from Alaska to Patagonia and then circumnavigate Africa in a Jeep and Chris Shantz can drive the most remote areas in the United States in his Jeep, then a Jeep's good enough for me. Jeep Wranglers make an awesome platform to build an overlanding rig out of and I love seeing all of the creative things Jeep owners are doing to their rigs. The eighth thing that I love about Jeep Wranglers is that they look awesome. Whether you have one that's super built or you have one that's stock, they still look amazing. And there's so many cool things that you can do to them to make them look even better. So I love that you can personalize them, that you can make them fit and do the activities that you want and that they all look absolutely incredible. In the off-road community, the only thing that even comes close is a Land Rover Defender. And we don't have those really in the United States. And so to me, the Jeep Wrangler is by far the coolest looking off-road rig out there. I know that that doesn't matter in a lot of ways and about a lot of things, but I love a rig that looks sweet as well as functions great, and the Wrangler is that. So the ninth thing that I love about Jeep Wranglers is that you have solid front and rear axles. So I know that I mentioned that in the capability segment, but it deserves its entire own reason to love. And here's why, unless you're gonna get into older Land Cruisers and other older four wheel drives, you cannot find solid front and rear axles. Now there are reasons for that. Having a solid front axle eventually leads to death wobble. And so a lot of manufacturers just went to independent front suspension. However, the problem is they are just not as capable off-road. In a Jeep Wrangler, you can disconnect your sway bar and you're gonna have so much more ability to have articulation. You're gonna be able to mold your rig up and over rocks uh, so much better than you can in any other vehicle. And if you've watched my channel, you know I'm not a hardcore off-road rock crawler by any means. I've never professed to be that, but I have taken the Jeep on extremely difficult trails and it performs so well. And even on the easy trails, having 
solid front and rear axles makes those better and easier to handle. And so that's just what sets the, the Jeep Wrangler apart is it's really the only new vehicle that you can buy in the US market that has that. And so if you're looking for the ability to have a rig, even if you're not gonna be using it all the time to do hardcore off-roading, if you're looking for a rig that's gonna have unparalleled off-roading capabilities, you really need a solid front and rear axle and you're gonna get that only in a Jeep Wrangler, which is one of the reasons that I think really sets it apart from other vehicles that are doing similar type experiences. All right, so the 10th thing that I love about my Jeep, and this might be the best thing about owning a Jeep, is the community. The second that you pick up a Jeep, you realize so much about the community, whether it's just passing and giving the Jeep wave as you're passing someone on the road, to tons of forums and websites and YouTube channels of people who are just absolutely passionate about the community. I believe that the Jeep community could rival any community out there as far as absolute support, um, helping each other out, and really falling in love and enjoying a vehicle together. I've seen really cool communities in the Toyota community, the Land Rover community, the Subaru community, where people really bond together around a vehicle, and I still believe that none of those rival what happens when you pick up a Jeep and the community and brotherhood that you become a part of. So Jeeps are absolutely fantastic that way. It's by far one of my favorite things about it. I love seeing other Jeepers out there. My kids are constantly looking to see if they're doing the Jeep wave and it's one of the best things about it. So I wanna know what you guys love about owning a Jeep. Please share those in the comments below. Tell me if you don't own a Jeep, why you don't own a Jeep. I wanna hear those as well. But if you're looking to pick up a Jeep, I cannot recommend it enough. Life is way too short to drive something that is boring and Jeeps are not boring. They are awesome. If you love seeing Jeep adventures and camping, time in the mountains and in the desert, stick around for all of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button so that you can get all of my updates and you can see all of my trips and adventures. Thanks for watching.